if you know the person you are dealing with has questionable character, please keep it safe. When that voice note burst out, it took Bobrisky less than 30 minutes to have gone to look for the account number to pay. Be discreet, be disciplined, be mature. But when you know the character of the person you are dealing with is questionable, when you know you may require some form of evidence in the future to prove your case, keep receipts. People don't do bad. People don't take over the surface of the earth. And this war when people will borrow money for you, they will beat you. Okay, so I've tried to stay away from the VDM, Bobrisky, EFCC, and all of the conversation. Um, and just leave it to public opinion and um, it, though I've posted one video of it but I've tried to stay away from the lessons but increasingly it's becoming very difficult for me because a lot of wrong narratives have been put out and people may just be getting um, the wrong lessons I think um, like I've always said every scenario, every trend, everything that happens you must understand the the appropriate lesson you have to take and one of the lessons that people have been pushing is to um, dissell the person that recorded Bobrisky and um, that sent it to VDM however we are not going to discuss VDM today right and then the person is not being bashed oh I've heard I've seen it even Toto DK that came outside to drag uh ex husband and called him names including being a seconds man he's the one also saying why will you record why will you record unfortunately that is the point where I want to come in and then it's disappointing. While it is okay to, to advise people to stop um, recording people, but I must tell you the fact, if you know the person you are dealing with has questionable character, please keep receipt. If you know the person you are working with, the person you are partnering with, the person you are, you are having a particular business or situation with, please keep receipt. In a world where people want to borrow you money and they will own disappearing messages on WhatsApp. They want to borrow more. They want to lend. They want to take more. They want to, they want you to loan them money. They want to, to, to ask you for money. You will see that they would own disappearing messages. I was having a conversation with somebody one time. It was quite quite intense. Only for me to come back to the conversation after two days and messages are gone. I asked him, what? what? How? What do you have disappearing? I don't have on my phone. For any reason. Not even selected, not even my old chat. Because again, we are in a... I don't record. A few persons that know me. Even as much as commendation. And if it happens privately, it becomes from my eyes only commendations oh you are doing a good job i get loads of messages um dms whatsapp messages from all corners if it happens privately it becomes of my consumption only it is a rule and people that know me i've had to attack a few of my friends that goes to post on their whatsapp story what somebody said what this day i i don't do it right so it's it's safe for me to say i i, I run a life of values and principles in that order but you see i keep chats I do, except if the, 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 the conversation there is not so serious. I can I keep it because you never can tell. You never I, I've been accused wrongly. I worked in a system where reports fly here and there. I work every day. The only the only validation, the only hope you have is when you have a superior argument with evidence. Don't deceive yourself. This word is a word of evidence. People will deny anything. Imagine. Now, let me tell you one, one, one ugly side of that narrator, nobody. The guy knew. See, from the recent discoveries by bloggers. See, now bloggers, so nobody, they say now allegedly. I was watching a video today. See, if you want, no one go J this time. You see, allegedly. That the guy in question had wrote, hey, sexy to Bob Brisky. And so it means that insinuates um, that there may be a form, some form of relationship between them. And that's why Bob Brisky would have asked him for four million naira into his account, uh, for him to do a thing, and the Bob Brisky would not pay back as at the time that it was he had promised to pay. If that guy did he have that evidence, that money dog boy, if that guy did, because he knew he knew that there was a problem, not the first time. The same Bob Brisky that you see everywhere jumping from one train to another, being accused of various, and then you are dealing with him and you don't keep evidence. Guess what? But Brisky came out of prison, had a lavish, lavish birthday celebration. 
I refuse to give these guys money because of course you want to blackmail me because you had something. Again, I'm not here to encourage anything, but why? If you requested for money for somebody, all of us they owe. I get why they owe. But one of the biggest feelings you have is the attitude. So where are they owe? Call me and say, Baba, I found that money. I say, Baba, if you see the way. They... That is how the person feels calm. Guess what? The next one more, this person will not get back to you. That's how it works. Now I'm saying, are you the old person? Then I say, person, people tell you, say, before I was, don't be saying, they beg, say, do your worst. So, when VTM make that video in the morning, I said, but Brisky has whether 24 hours or 4 hours or till evening to have gone to pay that money. Do you know, but Brisky did not go to pay that money. For him, it was a normal thing. When that voice note burst out, it took Bob Brisky less than 30 minutes to have gone to look for the account number to pay. He was calling the person. So, when you are doing people with questionable character, keep receipts, keep evidence. Or deceive yourself. This was nobody. If that guy didn't have that evidence, that money don't go. Four million was gone. It was gone. And there are many persons in this country. There are things that we, we have. There was a time, there was a time that. And it was in the church. It was in the church. There was something that happened, and then we were we were trying to manage the situation. And in managing it, we had to get involved into more mess and more mess and more mess. And then somehow we were not supposed to make a trip. <laughs> Guess what is you remember? We're not supposed to make a trip. Do you know that person? A person went to report that damage control we're trying to create, we're trying to. To, to, to do to solve a particular problem, reported it to the authority to spoil my chances of making that trip, and he succeeded. He, so don't deceive yourself. Don't deceive yourself. If I had receipts, if I had processes laid, if I had for all those things with my own voice, I tried to explain. They said no, this evidence was enough to show that you committed this crime. Step aside. People have lost jobs because they did not keep receipts. People have lost relationships, lost marriages because they did not keep receipts. It's not just in the in, in, in judiciary, in, in justice, or in the legal uh, uh, world that you need. See, even in, in our world, go write for social media. The, this man, just they say we are waiting for, for 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 the other person to talk. People are going through a lot. Not let anybody deceive you. I'm not saying you should be divulging, but keep it, keep it. You will need it. Don't deceive yourself. Don't let anybody create an impression that, oh, it, yes. When, when, when people have conversations with you, right, it's okay. Please, be discreet, be disciplined, be mature. But when you know the character of the person you are dealing with is questionable, when you know you may require some form of evidence in the future to prove your case, keep receipt. Don't allow people to gaslight you, to make you feel like keeping receipts or putting or putting up evidence or documenting evidence is a bad thing because the world has gone really sour. We live in a messed age. We live in a messed generation. People don't do bad. Evil don't take over the surface of the earth. Now this world, when people will borrow money for you, they will beat you put. They will spoil your name. That was a, a case we were handling some days ago. Get borrow another get money. When he reached out for her to pay back, now he send her boyfriend say, you know, say that the way your girlfriend tell you, say, in they go, Abuja go see your coat. Now, lie on one of the boys for us with a two star for Lagos, now he go see. That's how messed the world is. Then, you are, first and foremost, don't even stay around people that have questionable character. You should stop doing dealings with them. But if you find yourself doing any business with them, please keep receipts. Keep receipts. Keep receipts. Don't let this world deceive you. Don't let Toto DK, who is a shameless person, that could, somebody that could expose her husband. You get, you get where you and parents don't intimate rich and soft. Even if the marriage wants to pack up, you will work out. But she still allowed to receive to fall into plan. She did tell you and say, because her friend is involved. And I just said to is it not in this world that you and Bob Risky, they share private chat of phone and say, if Bob Risky had questionable character, the guy knew. He kept it. And look at what Bob Risky did. He went to blackmail the guy, not to pay him what you owe him. Now, so he... In this same country, now Bob Risky for embarrassed on Jazzy Vito, Simi, and all of these guys, VTM dragged them. Because these guys sent you money privately. They don't put up for their story. Only you go, they write their names and put their mouth that they sent. What for? So, I'll come pretty for you and I'll say they leak your, your secret. You are, a, you are a stupid person. You don't get sense. You drag Don Jazzy, a whole Don Jazzy will be icon. You drag him for public. Vito Simi, you 
cool land for public people can they laugh and say, wait, what are you donating money for? This is the same way you called all of them. You called them and started to tell their different stories. Now they gather money for you. Only you came out from prison and, and decided to put them. Who won't help you again? Okay, these celebrities that helped you now, you embarrass them. The one way see help you privately will be your friend. You see one Dupin. Yeah, you're a bad person, but risk money body, they tell me all those things. Keep if me and you they chat. And you know say I'll be a bad person, keep my receipt. No wala. I don't tell you. Because as long as you are dealing with new mass, eh, don't allow emotions. Sometimes be logical. Be logical. 